Assalamu alaikum you guys. I am back in the mother's land. We are in Somaliland, you guys. We are in Hargeisa, the capital city. I have not been back in over 10 years. I'm honestly so excited to just fully experience this. Like, it's my first. I, honest to God, haven't been back in so long. And the country has changed so much. It looks unreal. It looks so good. Mashallah, tabarakallah. It looks so beautiful. Um, I have not told my family that I'm here yet. I have to go see my grandmother. We're also going to be going to Bur'o. Um, we're gonna go be going to Barbera hopefully. We're not here for long, but um, we're gonna make the most out of this trip. Um, I'm just so excited to be home. Ignore the room, a lot happened. It's quite messy, a lot was happening, so don't be judging. I have to show you guys what is in front of me. Well, <laughs> Albaf can sell off for yesterday what happened was we came in and we went out to eat we had like lunch and dinner at uh, Damal and then we went Damal restaurant and then we went to see my Ayeyo I went to see my grandmother and um, from uh, my mom's side in Ahoy they um, they were great it was she was so lovely she was so happy to see me she was telling me stories about my past and my childhood and it was it was so nice oh my god it, it was I got really emotional I also seen my Apti um, my brother is also here. I was chilling with him as well. I'm gonna go out with my Apti and my brother. Uh, they just want to show all our dynasty to us. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to see that. Um, I'm so happy to be back in the country. It is so beautiful. Horta, let me just stop there for a second. I love my makeup today. It is looking nice. Do you know what happened, right? I did my brows and I wasn't happy with it. And then I was like, starting over. I'm starting over but i'm really happy with it i'm really really happy with it, alhamdulillah and um, today i want to do some touristic things i want to go sightseeing i just want to go for a walk and actually see how the city looks you know um and then inshallah burrito the plan is we're gonna go to burrow um and salamaya and ayayday um haha from my dad's side i'm gonna be speaking back and forth somali because when i speak somali fully the thing about me is only what to say if i want to fahma like i can proper understand it and when you have a lot of people who are going to be able to do it, you can't get a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. I start overthinking. Until I get comfortable, I will not be committing to a full Somali vlog. Inshallah, one day though, maybe I plan to do like one entire vlog. Maybe, maybe, inshallah. No promises though. Like I said, my ab was there. I really don't want to know what the Katagan wants. So I think my husband wants to add it inshallah. Assalamu alaikum subah wa naksin maanta mahanu sa'ana bura'o I am going to see my father Abba Hiba Rabbi Nansu Salamu Yu ayyidhi yu hanu sa'na sa'na insha'Allah Ohar tamar kohari gari ba nabini yang kresa no Das farabadan ba nabwa ardi gari ha kresa ni na When ini di bayan Hadja utun biwara na yinin ka wakku za gari yaku samiyi So we aborted that mesh Ala kulli hal Ninkega sahib ki swa soddi di wardi Niyo gari yaku ska qado And like come back with it which was great so <laughs> so we don't even have to deal with the whole public transport dealing with all that stuff alhamdulillah 
we will get there safe and sound we will try to stop we will try to stop at different parts and show you really pretty parts like going to Barbera apparently Chitki Wababal Hagachiye so it should be fine So guys, I just finished having lunch with Mona. I've been out with her the whole day. We're literally talking so much because I hadn't seen her in so long. It's gone dark and I was like, oh my God, I literally forgot to vlog. Um, but now me and my husband are gonna head to this place where they have like shows and there's a lot of things going on. So it's great for entertainment. Um, and then I'm probably gonna go have dinner with my husband. I feel like all I do here is just eat. Like there's really not much to do besides eat. Um, hopefully this place is great because a lot of people recommended it to us. They tend to have shows every Wednesday and Thursday. Um, but it should be fun. I wanted to film more, but uh, I literally was so caught up in conversation. Right now it is Maghrib. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find somewhere else to eat tonight and then go watch the shows. That's the plan. After a little car incident that was sorted, we got into our room and we packed because we are getting ready to um, uh, change rooms. A lot was happening with this room, so we're getting a different room, alhamdulillah. And um, we're all ready. Um, I just basically did the same look, you guys. Like, I didn't really do anything different. I just added some dahab earrings and changed my lip really and truly. I feel like I I could go on with this. And my the hijab color was chosen by my husband today. He absolutely loves this color on me. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I cut his hair, which is great. So I'm officially a barber. I'm going to add that onto my um, bio. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I gave the tiniest little trim because you can't see his back. Well, it is what it is. Um, uh, but yeah, so right now we are getting ready to go to Aqai. What that means is basically like some entertainment, like it's a traditional entertainment while you're eating dinner. So I'm really excited because they, everyone told us like you guys have to go to while you guys are here. All the entertaining shows tend to happen every Wednesday night and Thursday night. So we're going to enjoy that. We're only here till about Friday or Saturday. We haven't decided on an actual date. Then we're going back to Ethiopia, inshallah a plan to vlog there as well so yeah that's the point let's get ready and leave because i'm getting death stairs here <laughs>
9 p.m. right now and we're getting ready to go to Aqai. We went to Aqai last night. It was a show, it was like a Somali traditional show with like traditional Somali dancing and um, singing. Um, it was great, honestly, I absolutely loved it. So tonight I'm gonna go there as well. Today I decided I was sick of wearing abaya, so I'm wearing a blazer and a squirt. Um, hopefully that's okay <laughs> around here because I know people tend to just wear dras and abayas. But you know what, we move. Um, my makeup's looking absolutely cute. Um, so yeah, you guys, earlier on, what we basically did was I actually got breakfast in, brought into my room. So it was, it was lovely. My husband had to go to Anika. It was a friend's wedding that he went to. Um, so I stayed in, had breakfast in, watched a bit of Gilmore Girls. And then he came back to Kanap and we got ready. Around like 4 p.m. we went downstairs, we had some tea and just chatted, took some pictures. Not a lot happened today. Then we came in, rested, watched the movie. So now we are getting ready to go to Qa'i. Um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum you guys, today is our last day in Hargeza. It is actually so sad because I feel like the time here flew by and we weren't here for long. Um, like I said, we weren't supposed to be here and then we managed to squeeze something in and got here. We really did enjoy our time here. Although a lot of people were telling us you guys came at the wrong time. The summer is 10 times later, it's 10 times better. So inshallah, we plan to come back in the summer, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. So other than that, today's our last day. We're not going to do much. We're going to spend it with family and chill, relax, and um, just enjoy our last day. Just soak in that last day of being in the motherlands and just enjoy seeing people that look like you and sound like you and speak like you. So it's great. I'm just going to really enjoy that and really enjoy that vitamin D because we are going back to Europe and it's a cold out there. So that's that. I'm not going to record much. I don't think I will today. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know we didn't do much. Um, like I said, we didn't have much time to do a lot of things. We came at the wrong time. Although for us it's great because it's not as hot. It's winter. It's a really good breeze here. Um, but um, a lot of people did say there's a lot more happening in the summer. There's a lot more Qurbachogs. There's a lot more um, diasporas coming in and there's a lot more things to do so inshallah the plan is to be here in the summer or in now I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have not been back home to the motherland I definitely suggest that you guys do check it out and do go and um, the country has changed drastically since I've been here a couple of years back but um, there's still a lot that has to be done and I hope our generation is the generation that uplifts the country and changes the country for the better inshallah or than that I would like to say assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh